I can honestly say that one of the happiest moments in my entire life was today when this came in the mail. Plagued by memories of a haunted house overlooking the place where he grew up, novelist Ben Mears makes a reluctant return to exercise long-held and deep-seated fears. But the cold fingers of fear that have reached into his psyche turn nightmares to terrifying reality, with the realization that the lifeblood of his childhood home is being sucked dry by evil. Soon the mundaneness of everyday normalcy is shrouded by the creeping shadow cast by the menacing Marston House and Straker, the sinister stranger that inhabits it. As unwitting men, women, and children slowly but slowly but slowly fall victim to an ancient horror, Ben is forced to embrace the past and accept an unspeakable A feral truth. vampire is preying on this most ordinary of communities. With the time against him, Ben must marshal the meager forces of good, a student, a doctor, a school teacher, to do battle with the malevolent beast from the darkest corners of his imagination. Welcome to the quiet little town of Salem's Lot. Hey everyone, it's Boogeyman Ben. Hope everyone's doing well and everyone's having a nice day. Um, I'm not, I haven't been more I've, excited to do a video in the entire time that I've been doing uh, my videos on Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. Um, as everyone knows that comes to my page and has subscribed to this channel and has watched my videos over the years, they all know, people all know that uh, Salem's Lot is my favorite horror film of all time. When I did my top 10 list of horror films, I made sure that that was at the top of my list. One of the most popular videos on my page, or a couple of videos on my page, deal with, um, you know, my love for the film, the fact that I've been to the town of Ferndale, California, where the film was shot multiple times. It was the town where I proposed to my wife in 2001. It is the town where we spent our honeymoon in 2003. Uh, we've been there two other times since then. Uh, and we went there in 2005 for my wife's birthday. And we also went there right before we bought our home in 2009. So, you know, we haven't been there in some time, but I love the town. It still looks exactly the same, and uh, it's just one of the most awesome towns to go to, and it just has that feel, and I just, I've loved Salem's Lot since I was a little boy. The first time I saw it, I was five years old. It scared the living shit out of me, and um, I, you know, it's like as much as I feared the film as a little boy, the older I got, I just was drawn to it. I became obsessed with it at some point points in my childhood it's like my, my father and my mother and most of my family thought I was odd for watching it so many times but I was just in love with it um, and going and back as far as when I was like seven years old I wanted a book and about even now it's like as I'm 39 years old I've always wanted a book that talked about this film this is something that I've been waiting for for 32 years I've been waiting to have a book that is completely 100% dedicated to my favorite horror film of all time, and now that I have it, it's um, it's just friggin' amazing to me. It's close to about three hundred pages, um, but it's just it it's everything I ever wanted. I mean, I really this is just something that. I have been waiting for for a long time, and this couldn't be a cooler book. I mean, it's just amazing what Tony Earnshaw has been able to get. There's stills in here that I've never seen before. He's actually got a collection of interviews, some dating back to when the film was first being made, others that are new that were actually conducted for this book. The new interviews that are conducted for this book were with Richard Kovritz, who was the producer, David Soule, who played Ben Mears, Jeffrey Lewis, who played Mike Ryerson, 
Joshua Bryan, who played Ted Petrie, and Susan Suckman McRae, Harry Suckman, the composer's daughter. There is also uh, elements from the actual shooting script um, that are included in this, which is such an amazing addition to There's this also part. various uh, foreign poster images, um, as well as uh, photos from the actual locations in Ferndale where the movie was shot. In my opinion, this is the crown jewel of uh, books. I, I'm just so happy to have this. I know that I'm, uh, you know, a fan of this movie 100%, so anything that they put out that acknowledged this movie and celebrated this movie, I was going to love. But I really just, the, the amount of information in here for a movie that was a television movie from 1979 that until, you know, maybe a few years ago, not a lot of people really talked about. And now it just seems now that people just... know about this movie. People are talking about this movie. There's a huge fan base for this movie. And this book by Turner Earnshaw is just an amazing achievement. And I want to thank him as a fan of Salem's Lot since the late 70s when it first was released in 1979. Thank you very much Mr. Earnshaw for putting this book together um, for fans like me who have been waiting for something like this for a long long time. So I think I've gushed enough. If people that are watching this video cannot tell, I am a huge fan of this. Um, I will put a link down below where people can order the book if they're interested. Um, it was, you know, a reasonable price. I think it, you know, it's it's more than worth the price for a fan of this amazing, horrifying, scary, just fantastic movie. And uh, I am so thankful to have this book. And I won't be putting it down for some time because I have a lot to read and uh, I just don't want to do anything else now but just read this book. Um, so I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I hope everyone gets a chance to check out this book for themselves. If they're a fan of Salem's Lot, you owe it to yourself to pick this book up. And again, thanks so much for watching. Take it easy. Peace.